Catacombs of Space and Time. Prepare yourselves, ladies. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel for another video. I know I've been away for a while, but things got a little busy in my personal life, so I had to go handle some things. But um, we're back now, just in time for the holidays, and also just in time for this awesome update that Seven Pirates has dropped on us. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the catacombs of time and space. We're going to be breaking down all that we know regarding this new feature from the basics to the small details. So let's just jump into it, guys. So this new feature can be found in the space station. We have two new tabs. We have the time and space war and the paraloper. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and focus most of this video on the time and space war. So coming into the time and space war tab, we see Arkholes firing away, monsters being killed. And they introduced two new items in the game or resources, I guess you can call them. We have meta energy and meta crystals. But for simplicity, sake we're just going to call it energy crystals or plasma let's just do plasma crystals and it's an it's essentially an idle game just like the original um, space station where you collected sands of time and it's essentially the same thing here but here you can actually influence or improve your income of the of, you know of this passive of this passive resource and it's based off of your wave number and your your power right so the enemy power here, as you can see, I've reached wave 119, and the way I've, I've gotten this far is you have to combine a lot of ships here. You click this button on the bottom right, and a lot of these little ships spawn, and you just have to combine them. Combine ships of the same type until they get bigger and bigger, and you can check the list here just to see all the different types of common ships that exist. And ultimately, these ships combine to form elite ships. And these elite ships are just like the arc holes we're already used to. And each of these elite ships have special properties. And these special properties are very important when you're considering progressing through the waves to consider your power and also your income, your passive income. So. This video is going to focus mostly on the crystals because that's what's the most valuable part of this of this new feature and we'll talk about the plasma at the very end of the video. It's really not that great. It's 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 mediocre. It's really the crystals that are the bread and butter of this new feature. So, uh, just to start off, can only have 6 elite ships deployed at any given time. Once you craft any elite ships after the sixth they will be automatically sent to your elite tab and you can scroll to the very bottom and as you can see here i have totaled two diablos and an extra gabriel that are in excess you can either swap them in tag team them in for another hole that's already in in combat uh, or you can recycle them and based on the tier that they are, so this, this Diablo is at tier 1 or ST1, if you cash this in, it'll give you 15,000 meta crystals. But if let's say it's at ST2 or ST3, they'll, they'll, they'll reward you with whatever, you know, whatever that whatever the ratio is, right? So I know the ST2 gives you like 45,000 or something like that. So let's talk about the stats, guys. Let's talk about the power, the and then these little multipliers here, I guess you can call them. Now, that's one thing that's one aspect of this new feature I'm not I'm not yet quite understanding is how these scale um, as you level them up and how they how they multiply your already existing income. So I confirmed with the support team that progressing through waves does increase your passive income. So you already have a basic or a, you have a base income based on your wave number. And then you have these plus values, I guess, these multipliers that that amplify that income. And each arc hole, each elite arc hole is specialized for a specific purpose. The Gabriel is, it looks like the Gabriel is best for 
metacrystal income or the metacrystal uh, multiplier the apocalypse is best for its 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 power right you need power to progress through the waves so your power is displayed on the bottom right of your screen and you have to exceed or meet the enemy's power to move on to the next wave and not only does your passive income increase as you progress through the wave, but your merchant store actually increases in size. So you, you get offered more items at once. And this merchant store is great. You can use cash, gold, or even your meta crystals. But I recommend you, you, you save your meta crystals to upgrade your elite arcs. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. But I also recommend that you purchase any item that is what that is per that you can purchase with cash right i mean it's just free stuff the way i see it when 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 you can buy something with cash unfortunately you cannot combine two elite ships of the same type into a, let's say a bigger one so i can't combine these two uh, apocalypses this little mop-up feature is also nice uh, you get to click on it every two days i believe a day and a half it's a pretty long timer but you you just get a little cat you get to cash in every once in a while on some extra crystals and some extra plasma uh, and the amount of that cash in is based on what wave you're on mopping up also refreshes your merchant store and your merchant store the merchant store can offer so many awesome things including what's known as quantized ships okay so let's talk about the quantized ship and why they're so important and why you need to know how they work so quantized ships can be distinguished from other normal ships by a glowing pattern around them as you can see uh, these two holiday sleighs are the exact exactly the same the difference being is that one is quantized and one is not the quantized ship gives you a probability of crafting uh, an already high tier elite ship for example i'm going to try and combine this quantized ship with this non-quantized ship so this pop-up here really explains the idea of the quantized ships very clearly if you combine two quantized ships you instantly get an upgraded elite ship whereas if you if you merge a non-quantized with a quantized then it just upgrades to a common ship and a common ship being one of these non-glowing ones right so one thing we should talk about is the elite airship composition that you want to maximize your power and in turn maximize your meta crystal passive income because ultimately these crystals are what you're going to use to convert to unlimited or hyperspace crystals or whatever you want and we'll get we'll talk more about that in detail in just a moment but looking at the list here we can see that gabriel is best for amplifying your crystal production apocalypse is just great at power just just raw power to help you progress through those waves the diablo seems like an overall well balanced hole not really not really leaning over on to you know to one side and we have the armageddon which i don't have them one right now I personally think Armageddon is the worst one because it leans more towards production of plasma and again I think plasma is kind of useless and I'll explain why in a moment I'm upgrading my holes as much as I can they do get expensive as you can see I have an ST6 Diablo uh, I actually got this Diablo as a ST4 because I combined two quantized Armageddons but to go from six to seven you can see the cost is just gets ridiculous who knows how high these can go to maybe level 20 like the original holes can go up to and who knows how insane the scaling is so it's very exciting it's definitely something that you have to grind out and put the time in because they only offer you so many packs to be able to get the quantized ships. They, they they put a lot of barriers to keep you from progressing very, very fast. And uh, one barrier is uh, the, the, cycling, the recycling of ships. You're only allowed to recycle X, two excess ships per day. Okay, so again, another limiting factor there. And they also made a nice little fun interaction where you can click on the arc hole and it just starts releasing the animation just goes crazy and 
it also makes my game lag a lot but there has been some speculation out there that clicking on the arcs a bunch does increase your your pass your income on crystals and energy kills monsters faster but that's just not the case uh, you can even try it yourself it doesn't matter how how much you click on your on the these elite arc holes uh the monsters they don't die any faster and you don't see your your coin amount increasing by by anything really so that's pretty much the logistics of this new feature let's talk about these crystals and why they're so valuable so if we head over to the paraloper function now you can see you instantly see a dragon on your left side you see this this little this section over here you, this is in the details tab and then the heal tab in the details tab you can see that the storage of your energy is limited from my personal experience i recommend you don't level it up any further than level four level five or even level it up at all to be honest because plasma Plasma, you don't really need it. It is used to speed up training troops and to speed up healing troops. Now, this isn't to get confused with healing in the heal tab because this is completely different. Be careful, don't, because when you try and heal in the heal tab here in the paralooper function, you actually use crystals. So you need to be careful with that because the healing mechanic through this function here allows you to avoid not only the time that it takes to heal the troops but you also avoid the cost whether it be resources and even for high tier troops like unlimited crystals hyperspace crystals so this function is great to heal high tier troops tier 9 tier 10 and that sort of thing but it is not great to heal tier 2 tier 1 it's just not worth it because these crystals are so valuable guys these crystals you want these to convert into these bad boys right here um before we get into that i want to show you the healing of of using your energy of how you use your energy so here i'm going to be using i'm just going to be healing quickly these troops and you can use meta energy here right energy that can be used to speed up and isn't stable but can be okay so i speed it up and there it is it's just a it's just a different version of a speed up which is fine it's whatever now the downside what makes energy so terrible and so useless in my opinion is that in order for you to even use that energy your paraloper or your dragon has to be domesticated now I'm sure you all of you have received a, a, a domestication potion when you first logged into the game after the update. Now those potions are very valuable guys. You want to hold on to that potion and don't use it right away. I made the mistake and use it right away not knowing what I was doing because once you use that potion the only way to get another one is to go into your into the store and to buy one of those crappy $49.99 packs where you're getting a little bit of gold but the value is really the domestication potion so this just lets you know how valuable these are now what a domestication potion does is it allows you to essentially awaken your dragon and when you're uh, when your dragon is awakened you're allowed to use all these new currencies the plasma the coins now here for example the conversion rate for those crystals to cosmic unlimited or hyperspace is for every 20,000 crystals, you get one of these crystals. It's a very, very bad ratio, but it makes sense, right? Seven pirates isn't going to, isn't going to spoil us. So uh, again, uh, referring back to why you need to increase that passive income in the time and space war. So again, you are only allowed to convert crystals and to use your meta energy to heal to speed heal only when your dragon is domesticated now a domestication potion will last you 30 days so my my advice is to hold on to your domestication potion rack up all those coins and then once you're ready for your next upgrade that's when you want to domesticate your dragon and then convert just to repeat one more time just so that because this is very important for everyone to understand is that the healing function in the paraloper tab is different from healing troops in your med bay because healing speeding up troop healing in your med bay is where you use your meta energy here and again you can only use your meta energy to heal only when your dragon is domesticated but when you go into your paraloper function and you try healing here this costs 
coins. It costs uh, crystals, not meta energy. So be careful there. So again, this feature here where you use crystals instead of plasma is great to heal high tier troops tier 9 and above. So just to wrap up this video, there are still some things that are unclear about this feature. For example, how these how these multipliers really work, how how hard these values scale, the power, uh, even the costs to evolve. If you're going to use your crystals for anything, at least in the initial phase, which you know, right now, I would recommend you just invest in your composition of your elite ships. Preferably, at least in my opinion, you should go with Gabriel's and Apocalypse's to increase both your power, your overall power to progress through the waves and to just give you a little bump on your coin, on your crystal income. Overall, I think this new feature is great. I think it, it, it's, it's healthy for the game. It brings some, some fun into the game. And before this new feature was even added, it was getting a little stale. It was kind of difficult finding entertainment in the game because all you can really do is look forward to either Galactic Campaign or do some Ace of Galaxy. But even Ace of Galaxy is, is a game mode that's, hard, that's been dead for a while, so I hopefully they revamp that. But that'll be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope I answered some questions. Hope this was helpful. L let me down in the comments below if I missed anything. Happy holidays to all of you. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.